Hello and welcome. This time we're going to look at changing the oil and filter on our 1.3 litre multi-jet diesel engine. To begin with, you'll need to jack the car off the ground and secure safely on axle stands. You'll need a good quality socket set and a 12mm hex tool. By turning counterclockwise, we undo the sump plug as shown here. Once finger loose, we can unscrew it the rest of the way without using the tool. With an appropriate container, we remove the plug and catch the oil as it's draining out. The oil can usually be disposed of safely and easily at most council waste sites. We're going to leave this to drain and then we're going to turn our attention to the oil filter. This metal cover protects the oil filter. It's held in place with two T30 torque screws and a 10mm nut. Once we've removed these, we can easily access the plastic oil filter housing. The top of the oil filter housing is easily removed with a 27mm socket. As there may still be some oil in the housing, we use a cloth to catch any oil that may drip out of the assembly when we remove the top. And as you can see here, the oil filter itself comes away with the top. For comparison, we have the old filter and the new filter side by side. With the new oil filter came a new rubber seal for the housing assembly. With a thin bladed screwdriver, we simply pry the old seal off the top of the housing. We then simply slip the new oil seal onto the top of the housing and give it a good smear with oil to make sure that it's well lubricated and seals well. The new oil filter simply pushes in and clips in place in the top of the assembly. This can now easily be screwed back in place into the bottom half of the oil filter assembly. With our 27mm socket, we ensure that it's fitted tightly in place. Once firmly tightened down to the specified torque setting, you can replace the metal cover that protects the oil filter housing. Now that's the oil filter dealt with, we can reinsert the sump plug in preparation for the oil. Finger tight to begin with, and then tighten again with the 12mm hex key. In the owner's manual, it shows that this engine needs 3 litres of oil, and here it shows that it needs to be a synthetic based engine oil. SAE 5W40. We've removed the oil filler cap, which is immediately beside the oil filter. Because of its low down location in the engine bay, it's advisable to use a funnel, which can be purchased fairly cheaply. Because it's likely there'll be some residual oil in the engine, we're going to begin by pouring 2.5 litres in. We're then going to pull the dipstick to look at the level of the oil in the engine. This flattened area on the dipstick shows the difference between the minimum and the maximum oil level. As the level is very near the top, we add a little touch more oil and then recheck the dipstick. Finally, we're going to run the engine for a few moments just to let the oil circulate around and back into the oil filter. We're then going to check the oil level one more time and just add a touch more oil just to make sure that we have a good level in the car. Thanks for watching our videos. Be sure to check out our other service videos. Don't forget to subscribe and please visit our blog where we keep all of our great Punto advice and information in one place.